So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will extend their lead even further. 31. Broncos 7. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. We see Drew Locke in the offense coming back on. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had at victory. And they had long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quick quickly and help force the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They fake the handoff, now lock. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Colin Sutton was the man he was looking for, but now it'll be third down. It's third down. And lock going to throw. On the slant, completes to Sutton. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Lock and Sutton on the connection there for a Denver first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Locke. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 more on that one and another first down. A gain of 11 on the play. And the Broncos first down. Now Locke again. That's complete to Jonathan Taylor out of the backfield. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Taylor. No gain on the play. Second. Looking to throw again on second down. Lock. He's got his big tight end, Fan. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find a soft spot like they did there? tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. First down is locked. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A Bronco first down there. 12 yards on the play. First down, Denver. Locke looks to throw it again. And not able to get it that time. He hit on six straight passes. Not there. Second down. That one broken up by David Long on the defensive end. This is the tight end fan. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 23 yards, the final tally. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. They'll run here with Taylor. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second. Again, it'll be Taylor. And it will take it in for a Blanco touchdown. Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor. 
His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Broncos cut into that lead. The touchdown was scored by the runner, but the offensive line, they feel like it's theirs. They blocked that one up perfectly, allowed him easy access to the end zone. And now the offense is going to stay out there as the Broncos will go for two. Throwing now is Locke. He's got it. So they convert the two that keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. They're on 22-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. 22-yard line. On the ground, it's Akers. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And the Broncos get there and take him down. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. Ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception. But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. Here's Johnny Hecker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So possession goes over here on the punt. First and 10. At their own and Denver getting set to take the field. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. On first and ten, here's Locke. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. So a line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and ten. Throwing again. Block. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 15 yards on the play, first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Block now on first down. That's caught over the middle by Fant. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Here we go. 
On first down, Locke. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, it's Locke. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And the Broncos are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Locke. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. down a bit of a disaster and now on second and goal back even further they'll run with Taylor and they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13 it's a pickup of three but still a little work to do on third and goal block working out of the gun and he's got his man in stride complete and here he'll get it down to the seventh they wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. Field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. They'll go for it. It's locked, and he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Broncos get a bit closer. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays, but in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. So now a big play here as the Broncos will line up to go for two. Block now to throw. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. So they get the conversion, and now we're back to a one-score game. Now we've got whistles, and the man slow to get up here is Jones. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First down 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play. So essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Go, 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 
They'll keep it on the ground. Akers. Uh, he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll run this with Akers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. First down, Akers. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered yeah, behind the line. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Here's Akers. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. The 38-yard line. A gain of nine brings up third and two. Looking to throw. Man open, it's Cop. He's got it. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It'll go as a gain of 12, and that should just about wrap this one up. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance, but that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice, that one more stop. Feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow, what a way to finish this one off. The Rams go victory formation as they take the knee. Today's final a lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for LA, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Los Angeles, so long, everybody. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her. How I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half. Had a blast. Can I kick it? Yeah. Even with a spray. Pain. Can I kick it? Just the flex. I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different. So I ask. Can I? Hey. Cook out of my power and look at my dog. Some it was way back then, could claim what you saw, but you weren't with us. Uh, the higher the climb, the harder the fall, but how did you get up? I done got rich and went broke, then got rich again, just a little hiccup. I did be balling this pickup. Remember me being so bummy and being so hungry, I had to eat gross. Ay, how did the lady go miss? Ay, how she was mad, she mixed. Met her at one of the fights, and we caught her little rhythm. She caught up a friend, they kissed, and we dipped it, and that's how we kicked it.
Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some range and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her? How I did it? Yeah. Spend the whole half. Had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain. Pain. Can I kick it? Just the flex. I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different. So I asked. Can I? Before I went live, they know what I was. Ain't no one alive that can do what I do. Need a light year just to catch my buzz. He's right here just to catch my car. Now they don't really talk about us. Now they don't really talk about love. Honestly, they ain't never seen too much. What's love to a guy with a bag? What's heart to a guy with cash? What's pain to a guy that's mad? Said. What's broke to a guy with a mask? What's broke to a guy with a plan? I just wanna kick it, that's all I ask. Like. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some range and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her? How I did it? Yeah. Spend the whole half. Had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a sprain. Pain. Can I kick it? Just the flex. I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different. So I asked. Can I? Energy up my body. 